Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course, where you will learn how to assign properties to nodes and members in the STAD Pro Physical Modeler. In this particular video, we are going to be working on assigning supports to some of the nodes at the base of our structure. Now to help us with this process, it might be beneficial to go ahead and reorient your model to take a look at an elevation. To change your model view, you can go to the View tab and the Ribbon Toolbar, and you can see that we have several different navigation style tools available. I'm going to go ahead and switch to the front view at this point. Now, all properties are assigned in the STAD Pro Physical Modeler based on a Select and Apply method, meaning that you would select what you want to assign something to and then go ahead and apply it. So for this first exercise, I'm going to go ahead and start assigning some supports to my base nodes. So I'm going to unselect everything in my screen, and then I'm going to go ahead and select the nodes that are at the base of my concrete columns. Now what you're going to notice is that whenever you make a selection in the STAD Pro Physical Modeler, that the additional tool tabs will become available depending upon what you selected. Currently, right now, I have at least one node and at least one member selected, so I can see that the node and members tab have appeared. Now, I'm working on nodes at this point, so I'm going to go ahead and select the node tab, and then I'll find the different types of supports that we have available. The first icon is for a fixed support. A fixed support is a support that is restrained in all six degrees of freedom. That would be your three translational and three rotational degrees of freedom. I'm going to go ahead and assign a fixed support to these particular nodes. Now if you'd like to see that support being reflected in the spreadsheet, you can go to the spreadsheet tab in the ribbon toolbar and within the nodes tools you can see the option to show your supports. Here you can see that the three selected nodes have their supports changed to fixed. Let's go ahead and enter some supports for the other nodes in our model. So I'm going to click somewhere in the view window to unselect everything. And I'm going to draw a fence around the base nodes at the base of my steel columns. Again, I'm going to go up to my ribbon toolbar and select the node tab. This time, I'm going to go ahead and use the pinned support option. A pinned support is restrained in the three translational degrees of freedom, but it's free in the three rotational degrees of freedom. So here I'll go ahead and select the pinned option. And here we can see those changes are reflected directly in the spreadsheet. Now, in addition to those two support types, we also have a custom support option. A custom support can be specified as a restraint or a spring. A custom restraint allows you to manually specify which degrees of freedom are pinned or fixed. A custom spring allows you to find the axial behavior and spring constants for each of the six degrees of freedom. Now let's go ahead and return to our isometric view. And here we can see the symbols that have been assigned to each of the nodes that we assign supports to. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.